Van Al Sharpton, and we are back. It is XL Friday. Let's go to the phones. Let's start with Eunice in Chicago, WVON 1690, home of the governor, Cliff Kelly, my friend Eunice. Hi, Reverend Sharpton. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay. I'd just like to say happy Father's Day to you and all the other fathers. Well, thank you. Sure. You remember trying to give me a chance to get something off my chest because I'm mad as a wind. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this man in the White House who occupies the White House, I can't say president because, I mean, he, he isn't acting like that. Uh, this man is dangerous and sick. Why does he get away with all these lies he's telling? He told Lester Holt he was going to fire Comey before Rosenstein came on board. Right. Now, this man is now saying he's being investigated by the man who told him to fire Comey. Which is it? And this man is abusing the power of the presidency. He needs to have checks and balance. Uh, the Electoral College really made a mistake in certifying him. And Rubio, Newt Gingrich, and others need to go somewhere and sit down. They are trying to erase, erase everything that uh, President Obama uh, accomplished. You know, I can say you have difference, but these people are acting though he's some kind of animal from way back. And it just doesn't make any sense what they're doing because anything that says black like they did Miss Harris, Harris, they really tried to denigrate her the other day. But things need to change because it doesn't make any sense. They say they're Americans, but they're a bunch of hypocrites. And then he never calls Russia out. And thank you for letting me get that off of my chest. Well, thank you. Always good to hear your voice, Eunice. And Eunice is correct. He said uh, in the uh, tweets that I referred to at the top of the show that he is now being investigated by the man who counseled him to fire uh, former FBI Director Comey. But that's a direct contradiction to his own statement in the interview with NBC is Lester Holt that he was going to fire him anyway. And these kind of contradictory, blatant contradictory, I mean, you're not even dealing with gray areas here. Uh, these kind of blatant contradictory statements, I don't understand why the Republican leadership won't stand up and say, wait a minute, this is way beyond what is acceptable. You're talking about the uh, Deputy Attorney General of the United States that you all appointed under Sessions. Now you throwing him in front of the bus or you trying to cover something. And you know, you know, we all talk about, well not all, but mo many of us and most of us talk about how we miss the old uh, uh, bombers. Uh, last night I went to the uh, uh, a Trigo uh, Foundation dinner where they, they have a dinner that they do uh, raising funds to send uh, young uh, people of color to uh, get their MBAs. And they featured a conversation with uh, former First Lady Michelle Obama. And I was able to spend a few minutes with her alone and then listen to her presentation. And the class and the passion for people and the dignity uh, just being around here just just uh, reminded me so how much I miss that kind of first lady and certainly president. Uh, you know it, but when you talk to her one-on-one -on -one and then see her talking to those young people, it just drove it home to me again. How did we get here? And the answer is because we didn't vote. We get or don't get things based on what we do or do.